What you're watching here is a dream come true. Good. I've always wanted to know if true blue backcountry hunting was something that I was capable of. I can't wait for you to get the footage and look at both and then decide. I can't wait for you to just challenge and get off my butt. <laughs> so like I always do, I jumped off the deep end. With me on this trip is my buddy Will Carnahan, who's a filmmaker and photographer from Southern California. How much further we had to go? Eleven hours. <laughs> He's here to focus on the filming while I focus on the hunting. So here we are in Colorado, beginning my elk hunting saga. That hopefully will not just be this year, but be a journey of many years to come. I should be filming you. Are you gonna leave your camera in the truck? <laughs> no. Oh, I'll grab mine then. <laughs> It's, uh, what time is it? I don't even know. It's almost midnight. We're finally in camp. We're gonna get ready. Go in for a few days. See what we can find. I'm pumped. I've had this, like, sheepish grin on my face most of the day. Um, partly with anxiety for the trip, partly with excitement for the trip, and partly with just plain fear. We're gonna get some sleep, if we can. There was a notice that there was a lot of bears around at the top so hopefully the food's good locked away what? in the so we'll find out we've just made a lot of racket so I doubt there's anything walking up this road I put some food in your tent did you? yeah is that cool? yeah it's fine grumpy about it? Yes, <laughs> going about everything right now. Um, tough night of sleep. Got colder than we were expecting. My sleeping bag is kind of crap, so that's gonna be a struggle this week. But that's okay. Yeah, but we're uh, getting ready, heading in, making some, uh, making some fresh coffee. We can try and package the truck up a little better and uh, make sure my bow's on, and then we'll head out. You feeling good about everything? I mean, I think this thing went from 40 to 70 overnight. So we'll see how this works when I try to stand up. This may very quickly become a day trip instead of a backcountry trip. <laughs> can you help? Or do you want to be able to go in there? Oh, you can. My lord. light we're going man <laughs> so we now have to go down over and up Don't let the happy music and lounging footage fool you. This first day was a grind. You want to run into one of those? I mean, not really. Sure. Once we turn and go straight up, that's when we'll actually be in the ball game. Anything we catch on down here is just bonus. It was so difficult that the only time we could film is when we stopped for breaks. Colorado is known for lots of folks in areas like this. Whether it be hunters, hikers, bikers, Horn and upward. or just general people wanting to see the outdoors. And that's great, but that means to really get into the good stuff, you gotta go further than everybody else. When they're smelling people. That's why we gotta get up. <laughs> But I just like to eventually know that one is legitimately here. 
is like Moana and the chicken is like discovered he's like on the ocean and it zooms out. The second day was supposed to be an easy jaunt to the top, however it turned very quickly into another grind. We hunted our way to the top, and eventually fell into some action. hard for something. I, 
I feel a lot of vindication in saying, no, we have to get there. They're going to be there. And then, sure enough, that's the first elk we see is when we get, I finally get close to where I wanted to be. It makes me feel a little bit better about putting Will through all this. We eventually found our way to where I actually wanted to be, a high mountain lake basin. And once we got there, I immediately put a line in the water. Seven fish tacos tonight. Look at this. That was quick. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. <sighs> now that I've broken the ice, we're feeling it. That's a limit. <laughs> That's a limit. Got just enough time to clean these fish. I'll set up the tent. Let them soak. Set up the tent. We'll go elk hunting for a little while. <laughs> we'll come back and eat fish, man. That's good. Living off the land. What's up? <laughs> there were a couple big meadows around our campsite. So we just randomly picked one and sat down for the evening, hoping to hear or see something. We hear the bull bugle several times in the distance, but we decide to not make a play that night. Fueled by hearing our first bugles, we head back to camp at dark and start cooking our fish, hoping that tomorrow would be the day. Neither one of us slept well last night, but we have been awakened by bugles. So it's a pretty good alarm clock to try and get you back going. We're gonna give it all we got today.
this is why you hike for as long as we did. There's a bunch of elk around. I just don't, I want to be careful. But also we don't have a ton of time to sit in here. So I'm trying to figure out the game plan in my head. here but it's uh it's a touch rainy everything's kind of uh everything's kind of damp and cold and wet and so for <laughs> as exciting as the morning was the midday's been uh been tough but it's been good yeah Man, i definitely feel like we needed the rest I guess if you don't document document the bad days, you don't truly appreciate the good ones. I don't know. Some kind of philosophy. You can't only document the good. You gotta yeah, exactly. Document the bad. So, Will, you've been on two hunts <laughs> your entire life, and <laughs> I mean, one of them just happens life. to be this. Two hunts my entire life with you. I, I... I'm starting to sense a theme. <laughs> Major theme. The goose hunt theme. <laughs> Wild <laughs> goose. I feel bad because I, I feel like I I, I gave him a, a little bit of an easy one to start with. But then... <laughs> it's are vastly different. Yeah. The turkey the turkey hunt was, was cool, though. Like, it got a sense of things. Mm -hmm. But also, like... We had hot biscuits in the morning. I woke up in my bed. <laughs> you went to bed in your I bed. Went to bed in my bed. It you was a shower. I was showered. I didn't have to hike ten thousand feet in the air. <laughs> Land. Oh, I need water. <laughs> I definitely uh, threw him off the deep end. Not fun though. <laughs> no. But this lake, I mean, it's foggy now, but it's yeah. beautiful. And like, you can't get to places like this without doing the things that we do, unless you take the time and effort uh, and respect of the wilderness to get here. And it Absolutely. is worth it. All right. Let's go find an elk. It's hard to breathe up here. Maybe a... Uh, Squirrel won't throw uh, pine cones at us this time. In the afternoon, the rain finally subsides, and we get right back at it.
much time. You think Monet? Yes. Painted amazing the first painting. Actually, he did. <laughs> Do you think Van Gogh painted the first painting? <laughs> Was it Van Gogh or Monet? His first painting was with the hands of the servant. I think it was Monet. And that was just like, just set the bar for all perfectionists. It's like so hot. It's not even funny. <laughs> I hate you, Monet. I'm a Monet's probably not good at elk hunting. I know Van Gogh is, and he can't hear. <laughs> what? As we track down this bull we've been chasing all day, I spot something moving through the trees, and for a second, I get distracted. And uh, we were calling, you were calling, and you heard one off in a distance. And we basically triangulated ourselves on it. And uh, to this valley. enough to try it but I promised my wife I'd come home man it just oh. oh it just makes me mad we gotta we gotta go or I'm gonna get even more yeah. frustrated let's keep it as we turn to leave not being able to get across the boulder field it seems like the bull is moving with us So, we keep on trying. I 
like to know what mentality behind it. All I wanted was grouse tacos tonight. And now I'm not gonna get grouse tacos tonight because Ghost didn't want to shoot a grouse. I apologize for focusing on killing something about 500 times as big. I wanted tacos. So, we've been in them all day. Well, except for like the nine hours we had to sit in the tent, but I mean, we just got cliffed out. There was no way down the way, the route we took. And the route we took was specific for the wind and we couldn't just, we can't just barge in on a bad wind, blow them out of the country. Cause that was, that's, that's the herd bull. That's the big boy that we were on tonight. We had a bunch of cows, but I'm sure a better elk hunter could have got on them. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are gonna be mad at me and it's like, well, you just gotta go. Doesn't matter how bad the terrain is. I just, it, you, we, we were cliffed out and we didn't have a wind. And he's still going. That's a different bull. Maybe this way. Look, we found them. They're here. Just, you never have the time you think you need. With wet everything, the freezing temps and snow that are coming push us out of the high country. I don't want to cheapen this adventure by boiling it down and harping on one single lesson. What I'll say is this. I am reinvigorated and recommitted to never, ever stop adventuring in whatever form it may take. The camera doesn't do it justice, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna try and take a picture and maybe Goose can throw that up.